right hey what's up guys um welcome back to another video so as you guys can see i'm starting my today's video in the exact same position i was in yesterday so in today's video i get another review for you guys but it's not going to be a movie review today so i'm going to be seeing violent night again tonight and you're probably wondering why are you doing that you did a video on that last week no one i'm probably thinking yeah the same thing but no today's going to be a little different so I'm going to be doing a review of this movie in Dolby Cinema, and for those of you that don't know what Dolby Cinema is, it's it's basically, for those of you that know what Ultra AVX is. So we're all used to seeing Ultra AVX movies in like, you know, Marvel movies, and sorry, just give me one second. Thank you so much, have a good day. I got some water here because I'm thirsty. Um, so I'm, Dolby Cinema is basically, like I said, for those of you that don't know, it, it's it's Ultra AVX. So Ultra AVX is audio visual experience. And you guys have seen me. I did top a to review of Top Gun in this, but I'm doing it today because this reviews. I, I'm, I'm excited to do it because usually we watch like Marvel movies and Star Wars movies and stuff like that but we never see a movie about like mercen we never i never really get into movies that have to do with like mercenaries and crime fighting villains or assassins in ultra avx so i'm gonna do a review on this today i'm gonna see what it's like in ultra avx and compare it to see if it's better in regular or regular or if it's worth it to pay for it in ultra avx so come along with me and i'll see you guys in a few all right, hey, what's up, guys? So I just stopped to pump some gas. So I'm outside, like I just just came here after the ride I was on before to pump some gas before I go do the review for tonight. And look at this. Some guy literally crashed right in. Sorry about that. Some guy literally crashed right into the pump. I took the whole thing down. Jeez, it's pretty serious. So I hope he's like, you know, doing okay and everything. But like, my God, like, the whole thing down like that must have hurt so yeah all right hey guys so i'm in the car sorry if you can't really see me right now i'm just i'm kind of trying to get some dash cam footage here i'm going to try to get up a little closer and get some dash cam i don't even know if i can even get through there but yeah i'm behind the camera right now i just kind of want to show a little more closely closer up what happened so i can control the zoom in feature here right now so i can able to like get through here I don't even know if I can even get through here like it's all right I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through here I'm gonna have to back up but yeah here I'll zoom in real quick like look at that the guy's literally pinned in his car right now that is crazy my god like they can't even like the guy's like pinned it like he took the whole pole down like look at that so yeah i'm just gonna get out of here so i'm not like in the way of anything but yeah that's pretty serious like i hope he's doing okay whoever that was but oh my god anyway so i'm just heading home now i'll see you guys in a bit all right, hey, what's up, guys? So it's been a few hours. I'm just relaxing here in the basement. I'm going to watch some more of my Chicago PD because you guys know from previous videos that I've mentioned how much I like that. Um, So I'm just relaxing. I'm going to go take a shower in a bit. And just to clarify, for those of you that didn't understand earlier, I'm doing a review of Violent Night and Ultra AVX, but I'm not doing a review of Ultra AVX. I'm doing a review of what this type of movie is like in this specific format. So, yeah, I mean, and you guys saw that accident earlier. That was pretty bad. Like, the, I think the guy was, like, pinned in his truck or something or his car, and they were all trying to, like, get him out. So it's pretty serious. Just drive safe out there, okay? So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right, hey, what's up, guys? So I finally finished watching my uh, Chicago PD. So I'm heading out to the theater now, and, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get in the car.
All right, hey, what's up, guys? Sorry. All right, so I'm just outside right now. I'm getting in the car here. And yeah. So we're heading out to the movie right now. So we're going to be doing, like I said, not a review on the actual movie itself, but however the format the movie's in and how the movie is in the format. So here, let me just get you guys set up. All right. So I'm in the car. Just, yeah. So, hold on. All right, sorry about that, guys. So I just try, I cut I cut out there for a second because I knew my camera was gonna cut me off. So or camera. Um. So, anyways, yeah. So I'm in the I'm in the car now. Um. I'm heading to the movie. So I got about 20 minutes. I gotta stop to get some gas and then yeah. So, I've been doing a lot of these reviews. Like, if there's any movies that you guys want me to review in a specific format, let me know. Because I want to start reviewing movies in these premium large formats now, too. Kind of expanding a little bit. So, I'm just heading out now. I just got done watching, like I said, I got done watching my uh, Chicago PD. It's a really good show. You guys should check it out. If you guys have, like, Prime or Paramount Plus, you guys definitely should check this out. It's a really good show. Like, it's, it's addicting. It's an addictive show. So, like, I honestly, guys, I'm the kind of person, like, I watch so many Netflix series, and I, I'm honestly on, like, five different Netflix series at once. Like, it's, I'm kind of trying to just pick one to watch and then catch up on the rest. Like, I, I'm on season two of Manifest right now, and I don't even know, like, I, I, there's season four out. I haven't even finished that. Then I'm trying to finish Stranger Things. Then another minute, I'm trying to watch Dahmer. Then I'm trying to watch this other one, Clickbait. Then I'm trying to watch The Sinner. It's like, oh, my, like, I got five going at once, so... My plan for right now is to finish Chicago PD, and then I'm probably going to finish watching Manifest. So, anyways, yeah, they're all really good shows. Definitely check them out, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Sorry about that. So, so yeah, so I'm in the car. Um, I just got done putting up gas, as you guys can probably see behind me. Um... But yeah, gas, I'm, I'm really liking how the rate of gas is going down nowadays, you know? Like, have, have you guys been paying cheaper for gas than we have been in the last two, two years? Comment down below. So, yeah, so I'm just leaving the gas station right now. Um, it's pretty good because, like I said, I it's pretty, pretty good rates you get now. Or hopefully it stays like that. But, yeah, so I'm just at the gas... I just left the gas station. Um, I'm about two minutes away from the theater. This is normally what I do on Sundays when I do the reviews. I normally pump the gas, and then the theater's right down the road. So this is kind of like my routine. I go to the gas pump, and then I'm right to, I'm right down the up the road from the theater. So I'm going to be there in about five minutes. I'm just at a stoplight right now, obviously. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, hey, what's up, guys? So I just got to the theater, and let me re-show you guys what we're seeing only in the format we're seeing it tonight. Keep in mind, though, I really want to go see this movie. That one looks really good. And this one, I've, now that I just saw it, we're definitely doing a review on that, guys. Like, that movie here. We are definitely doing a review on this movie when it comes out playing with Gerard Butler. I've seen the trailer for it, guys. It looks insane, and that don't, that comes out in a couple of. That's only coming. That's coming out pretty soon. It's coming out like next month, I think. So this one looks really good. The crash was only the beginning. Survive together or die alone. I don't want to tell you guys much because I want you guys to see the trailer. But yeah, check it out. Okay, so this is what we're seeing tonight, obviously. But this is what it is: Ultra AVX. So you you guys already know what Ultra AVX is. Like I've done a few videos on it. I'm just doing this in it though. But, oh, oh my God, I didn't even notice this. Guys, check this out. This is next weekend's review. They got like this huge, I want to say 20-foot banner of the new Avatar movie. And you know what's crazy, guys? I don't know if I've mentioned, but yes, that is next weekend's review. If you guys can even see it, check that out. That is next weekend's review, guys. That movie, that movie looks phenomenal. So we're going to go, that's the that's next weekend's review. It's like kind of like an end of the year. It's kind of like a kickoff to the end of the year. So it's kind of a way to finish the year off. One of those reviews to finish the year off before the new year starts. But it looks really good. And you know what's crazy? 
I heard the other day that James Cameron already signed off on three more avatars. So it's, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I heard they're already filmed, but now they're going to be releasing them like two years apart, which is kind of weird because the first one came out like 13 years ago. So yeah, I'll see you guys in there. All right, hey, what's up, guys? So I just got out of the movie. Sorry I didn't film in the theater. Um, Honestly, I was running, already running late for the movie. So by the time I got in there, it was literally like just starting. So I didn't even have time to do my regular thing. So, but, the, but I just got out. That's what we just saw right there, Ultra AVX. I got to admit, here, I'll, I'm going to do it in the car tonight. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in a few, but it's pretty epic. All right, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the re welcome back to the review. So I got the Ultra AVX review of Violent Night. Um, you guys already know what the thing looks like, so I don't even need to put that up. But um, yeah, so welcome back to the review. So I'm gonna the review of Ultra AVX, guys. I got to admit, I don't know why I didn't just do a review in this in Ultra AVX last week. Could have saved myself twenty bucks because seeing it in Ultra AVX is like the best freaking experience ever. Like. When there's gunshots, and there's, like, people fighting and gunshots and crime fighters and villains and assassins, it, like, honestly, like, you could feel, like, Ultra AVX, you should, you should, you literally can feel it pulsing through your chest. The, the, uh, the visual is so much better. And then they got D-Box, which I would have done, but I just didn't want to have to spend extra. So... It was really good. I got to admit, guys, that was really good in Ultra AVX. Like, you really get the full immersion of it, you know? Like, you could feel the gunshots pulsing through your chest, and it gives you more of an adrenaline rush. So, overall, I would recommend seeing this in Ultra AVX or whatever, you, Dolby Cinema, Dolby Cinema, whatever. It's really good. Definitely try this out. Definitely see what you think of it. And, yeah, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. So, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for Friday night's video because it, we're starting to wrap up the year. These last few reviews are going to be wrapping up 2022 and then we officially have a fresh start in 2023 for whatever 2023 is going to bring. So I'm finishing the year off big with Avatar The Way of Water. So yeah, stay tuned. 8 out of 10 review. Highly recommend it. Definitely check it out in Ultra AVX or Dolby Cinema and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.